hi all welcome to azure content so in this video we are going to learn how to use sftp that is secured file transfer protocol in order to copy your data from on premise machine to azure storage account so what is sftp it is basically secured file transfer protocol you might have heard about ftp that is file transfer protocol it's basically a protocol that is used to transfer the files between one place to another place and sftp is basically an improved version of ftp because it resolves the security issues that ftp had so basically ftp did not provide data encryption while the files are getting transferred between one location to another location but this issue has been resolved by sftp so sftp basically resolves this security issue and it provides end to end data encryption while the files are getting transferred and behind the scenes SFTP uses something called SSH encryption which is also called secured shell encryption in order to provide high security while sending and receiving files and now let's talk about how SFTP actually uses SSH encryption so basically there are two components when we use SFTP that is secured file transfer protocol in order to move or transfer file between one location to another so there are two components one is called client that is SFTP client and other one is sftp server and the client and server machine works together in request response pattern okay so what is this request response pattern so one of the machine will send out request to the other machine and the other machine will accept that request and then it will respond on top of that request so usually this sftp client will send out the request to the sftp server and then server accepts the request and then it re responds on top of the client request and the request and response goes to and fro using this ssh protocol that is secured shell protocol over the port number 22 so the port number 22 should be open in order to accept the request and response so these are the Uh, important things to note before we jump on to the demo part so basically in our demo we will use our local machine as the client side and we will use azure storage account as the server side so we need to make sure to take care of couple of things first is our local machine will act as the sftp client so the ssh client should be installed in our local machine so first thing is we will see that our local machine is having let me zoom in it should have open ssh client installed okay so this is the first thing that we will make sure and then the second thing is in our local machine port number 22 should be open that is it should allow port number 22 for outbound rules in firewall settings so we need to make sure port number 22 is allowed so these are two things that we need to take care from our local machine side and then from the server side we need to enable the sftp connection so we need to enable sftp connection from server side so let me write down azure storage is our server so we need to enable sftp connection and then we need to create a user in that that will have our authentication for connecting with the storage account so we need to take care of these two things from the server side so let's try to jump into the demo now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to load this source1.csv which is present in the sample data folder in my desktop from my local machine i want to move it to the azure storage account so you can see this is my adls storage account and here i need to create a container where i need to load that file so let me create a container called sample container so i am going to create it so our sample container is successfully created so this will act as our sftp server side and our local machine will act as the client side so in our local machine we need to make sure that open ssh client is installed so how will we do that so we need to go into the settings so go to your settings and here search for something called optional feature optional feature so here there are lots of options and inside that option you can see open ssh client if you expand that 
you will be seeing that it is already installed if you do not see that then go ahead and install that i can see uninstall option so it means it is already installed in my system so this is the secure shell that i am talking about this will act as the client machine and now the other thing that we need to make sure is port 22 is allowed usually it will be the default settings uh, that the port 22 is already allowed but if not then you can go to the advanced security option in windows defender and there you will find this outbound rules and inside this there might be some settings which is enabling port number 22 but if not then you can create a new rule here and once you do that you get to add the port which you want to allow for your connection so if you want to enable port number 22 you can simply give that and click on next and allow the connection click on next and give some name like allow port 22 and hit on finish so once you do that this uh, this outbound rule will be enabled that is allowing port number 22 so mostly this will not be needed by default it will be enabled in your system but if you find any connection issue then kindly go ahead and do this so now we are good with the client machine settings and now let's go to the server side so here the first thing that we need to do is we need to enable the sftp connection so now let's go to the server side and let's enable sftp connection and also let's create the user for authentication so here uh, we are in the container that is sample container where we need to move the file from local system to this container so let's go one step back into the storage account and let's search for sftp here so here in the settings you can see sftp option is there and here you can enable sftp so once i click on that it will enable the sftp connection into this server side machine okay so you can see uh, successfully sftp is enabled now and now we can create a local user which will generate the password which will which we will use as an authentication so let me give username as anu sftp and okay so it says username must be 3 and 64 characters and it cannot be uppercase so let me give small case and here either we can use ssh password or we can generate a key value pair so i'm going to go ahead with ssh password let me click on next and on which container we want to enable this sftp connection so we have created sample container for this demo so i'm going to hit on sample container and what permissions we need for that container so basically we need write permission to load the data from our local machine to this uh, sample container but i'm going to go ahead with all the permissions and you can here uh, add a landing directory so inside the sample container if you have any folder you can uh, add that here but since i do not have any folder and if i give a folder name let's see if it is taking so it says folder does not exist so i'm just giving sample which is the container name and let me hit on add okay so you can see it has generated a password and we need to copy that and keep it handy because we cannot retrieve it again so let me copy it and keep it handy somewhere so now we have the password and we also have the connection string which we will need in order to establish the connection and move the file so this is the connection string and this is the password which will help us to transfer the file from on-premise local machine to the uh, sftp server side okay so now we are set up with everything let's go to our command prompt and we just need to run a command in order to transfer our file so what we need to run is sftp and then the connection string okay that we got from the server side so once we do that our connection will be established and it will ask for the password so let me give the password so it will not be displayed here and you can see it is connected to the storage account now so now we are inside the sftp command line and now we need to give the file path that we want to uh, transfer to the azure storage account so let me copy this and let me keep it handy here and our file name is source1.csv so 
this is what we need to put into the storage account so the command that we will use is put and then this file path so if i hit on enter it is saying uploading this file and it is already done let's go ahead uh, to the storage account and let's go to the uh, sample container and let's see if source1.csv is present so you can see the file has been transferred successfully to our storage account and you can also try to view and validate the data present in the file so you can validate the data as well it is matching so we are successfully able to transfer the data between on-premise local machine to Azure storage account with the help of SFTP that is secured file transfer protocol so that's it for this video guys i hope you like the content please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet thank you